and keep <laughs> Portions of the day's programming are reproduced by means of electrical transcriptions or tape recordings. <laughs> you can either take the crystal I am the one and only Chris The Chris Top Program. And I'm the one and only Chris Top broadcasting live from legendary BB Kings down. Asking. It's so good to see you. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's been too long. It's been a year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right, right out of year. Because I guess the last time we saw you was here. Yes. Uh, at BB Kings. Yeah. And I invited Melanie uh, back Saturday night, but she's got like a paying gig. So. <laughs> so <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> gotta, gotta eat. <laughs> she's gotta, gotta eat time. <laughs> so what's going on? You're going to Ohio. So what are you, what are you doing there? Uh, we're playing a festival just south of Toledo. Um, just gonna do a, a She will whoop some booty. <laughs> she's, she's the bouncer. She is. She, she is. is. Uh, okay, so so you are you going to sing three songs for us today? Can you do that? I can. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. All right. So what what do you think the first one's going to be? Um, the first one is going to be a song that I wrote with two of my friends, Amanda okay. June and Michael Funk, called "Over." Over. Now I don't think is this a new song? Um, it's not. I mean, it's probably about it. You're too old. I, okay. I haven't played it here yet. Okay, so I've never heard this before. What's is, it, it ab- is it about a boy?
Uh, I'm gonna just shut up and let you sing then. Yeah, shut up, Chris. That's hard. It's not easy for me. To do. <laughs> Aww, such a such a soothing voice. <laughs> not all the it. time. Not all the time. <laughs> I'm faking it a little bit because I got a little bit of a cold. That you just got from a quarter machine underneath that moon that started everything. I just want to take it up. If it were up to me, I'd stand by you till the end And do it all again Every dance, every dream, every picture, perfect memory The way you said you're beautiful Every kiss, every word, every love song we ever heard So we can do it over do it over. That's the name. Yeah. It's, nice. It's, yeah. <laughs> nice. Now, when did you write that? Uh, I want to say it's almost two years ago. Uh, we were just sitting around. It was the first ride I ever had with uh, my friend Amanda, mm -hmm. and uh, she she herself is a great artist. And then uh, Michael and I have written a few times, and we just had this idea. You know, how do we spin something that could be negative? Like, mm -hmm. I just want to like. Yeah. You know. It's great. It's a good hook. Go yeah, back. Yeah. And it's bounce. Do it over, but. It, it's like in a good way, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, okay, so so what have you got going on, like, in the next, say, week or two? Anything after Ohio or? Ohio, I'm taking a little trip to Pennsylvania to my hometown of Pittsburgh. Okay. Um, just for three days. I haven't been back since Christmas. My mom's oh. like, where are you? <laughs> gotcha. So I'm just mm -hmm. going to go home and visit uh, till Wednesday and come back here and come mm -hmm. back to work. Now, what's um, what's on the uh, I guess in the near future for you? Like as far as CDs or anything like that? Like, are you? Yeah, um, I'm in the kind of pre-production stages of uh, my next EP that I'm going to put out. Okay. Um, so right now, I'm really just trying to gather the songs that mm -hmm. I really feel like best represent me and my music. Um, I actually in January started writing for a publishing company as a staff writer. Mm -hmm. So uh, now I've is been, that a, is that a dream job or is that frustrating? No, I I love it. Yeah. I mean, it's they basically pay you to write songs all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, we've been doing that, and I've been in the room with uh, a lot of cool people who have really pushed my boundaries, and um, 
it's it's been great. I mean, we've been working on getting some cuts for other artists as well, mm -hmm. um, but also kind of writing for myself and. Three years, something like that. So <laughs> try, try. So, do this. Okay. Well, this is your deal, like with the, you know, with the music. Oh, like oh, yeah, that public service. I was like one. improv because I yes. didn't know what you were talking about. I was like, right. yeah, let's do this public service. She was just going along with it. Yeah. Oh, All right. Perfect. I know what you're talking about. All right. So, when an artist says, I have my music on iTunes that you can buy, underline buy, right. or I have my music over here that you can <clears> buy, right. underline that like three billion times, that means buy it, fool. That doesn't mean go out and steal it. But with I've your got little... software. I can just, I can just, you know, Well, what to do and good for you. Don't right. use it. Okay. Get rid okay. of that software and delete okay. it, you fool. Well, I kind of have to have it for this, too. Well, yeah. But uh, <laughs> don't go out and steal stuff. Don't do that. That's okay. illegal. You know why? So what do you do? You buy it okay. because the artists work so hard. They put their heart and their soul to make this music so that they, you know, put it out there. You can buy it so that they can make more music because it's not cheap to make music. Okay. You so, this, right? so you can skip like a Starbucks one day and probably yeah. buy a whole EP. You can skip yeah. your Starbucks. You can skip whatever it is you're doing. Don't buy that sword on Minecraft mm -hmm. and get that song. And if I catch you stealing that music, mm -hmm. because I will catch you because I have ways of finding out. Okay. I will hunt you down! Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So there you go. So now do you have stuff available on iTunes right now? or Yes. Okay, so where, where can they find all your stuff at? Do you have a website? I do. Um, it's MelanieMarini.com. Okay. And that has links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and my mm -hmm. YouTube channel. Uh, but what I've been doing most recently is posting a lot to SoundCloud. Okay. And so that's just SoundCloud.com slash MelanieMarini. Um, it has up all my most recent demos. So if you're okay. looking for... Uh, stuff to tide you over before the actual EP comes out. Uh, now, when is the EP coming out? Uh, my goal is November, but don't make me wait that long. <laughs> Come, Come on, on. We're, we're trying, but we want to make it great. So okay, now you can send me some stuff before it comes out, right? Oh yeah, sneak just, preview. For the I, I won't play it. I'll just I can I can um, critique it for you if you want. That, that sounds wonderful. Yeah. Now, have you ever put out an EP and then like as soon as it as soon as it's off the press and you start selling them have you, are you ever like man i shouldn't have put that song in there i should have put this other one on oh there. my gosh immediately <laughs> yeah so that happens i think everybody's their own worst critic you know yeah. and you know my mom will still listen to my ep from four years ago and be mm -hmm. like singing along to the songs and i'm <laughs> cringing in the back seat, like, please don't but uh i feel like it, as an artist it's just a growing process you know you're right you're developing you're constantly improving and writing more stuff so mm -hmm. then the old stuff becomes yeah, almost like a record of where you've been. Now, do you have like a select few people that you you let listen to the song to you know to see if it needs to go to the CD or not? I mean, because okay. your mom, you can't let your mom do it. Yeah, your mom's gonna because your mom's like... gonna love every. She's gonna love everything. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's very honest though. Is she honest? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I can I can uh, count on her to be like, yep, yeah, that's not your best. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah. You want that? You want that because you don't want to look back. A few years from now, I'll be like, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. That's horrible. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh no, it's great. But I mean, you've grown so much, and I mean, you you know, your 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 art and your technique, you're starting to hone it now. So I mean, I I think that that that's fewer and further in between. You know, when you come across songs like that that you shouldn't have put on there. Yeah. So for that's sure. that's good. That's exciting because this last song, that last song, that should be on the radio. <laughs> it was good. Yeah, it's it was boss. really good. Thank you. Uh, I want you to sing another one for us because we got to squeeze uh, three in because we got to get pictures and all this stuff too. Because yeah, sure. uh, so, what's the next one? Uh, this is a song I wrote called Letters. Okay. And it's about a, a terrible relationship <laughs> and oh. a letter. Yeah. Was he a bass player? <laughs> he He's a fictional character. Okay. Because the person in the song is it. married. Okay. Okay. And thank goodness that's not me yet. Gotcha. <laughs> so when are you getting married? Is it anytime soon? Or? Um, when I'm 80. Tomorrow. Oh, she won't tell us nothing. <laughs> no, not nothing. Not. Uh, yeah, so this one is called Letters. Don't 
Begging mouths that look in your eyes Knowing you this good means knowing just how you lie I take it on myself, it's the way I've always felt But when I look at you I can't blame anybody else Go ahead babe, play your old games I'll Watch these pages go up in flames All I have left are your letters that you gave me Sealed them with a kiss you still have you now, we're foolish. Went away and I should have known better There's nothing left to lose now, babe But your letters They say D-I-V-O-R-C-E Is the only way to undo what you've done to me I burned this bridge, gave back your things Too bad a name don't slide off like a ring Cause now all I have left are your letters that you gave me Sealed them with a kiss You still have you now we're through There's nothing left to lose, nothing left to miss All I have left are your letters that you gave me Sealed them with a kiss You still have you now we're through There's nothing left to lose, nothing left to miss I'm leaving today, boy, you should've known better Nothing's gonna make me stay Not even letters oh, Beautiful That is wonderful, wonderful Now, when you when you play that one, do you feel good about it? It's like, yeah, that's a good song <laughs> Like, yeah, I yeah, got it Because I kind of felt that way, too I didn't, even, I didn't have anything to do with it yeah. Yeah, I, I, Can you write? Can you write anything? Can, what? What? Can you write songs? I I've written like songs when I was six about a dog. Well, those don't count. No, those don't count. Like, how does inspiration hit? How does inspiration hit you? Like, do you just wake up out of a out of a sleep in the middle of the night and start writing stuff down, or do you sit down and say, "All right, I'm going to write today and make this happen"? I do a little bit of both, um, especially with the publishing deal that I've got. Um, there are certain days of the week where they're like, you know, coming at eleven. From yeah. 11 to 2, you guys are going to crank out a song. and So we do that. Um, what so I, they have expectations for you, and you've got to... Yeah, yeah. And, and I mean, they're, as far as a workplace goes, quote-unquote, mm-hmm. they're super easygoing. I mean, mm-hmm. it's the best job. You know, you show up, some days it's working, you have a quota to fill by the end of the year, but, I mean, it's, it's really uh, just kind of a relaxed experience. But I'll just save notes on my phone. Um, I like play on words. I like... Mm-hmm. cool phrases uh um i like that too i think that's cool i i noticed a couple of those in your songs and i'm like hmm, i like it's it the, it's mm-hmm. the english major coming out <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of environment is it i mean i'm picturing like um i guess like slides and like carousels and like cotton candy machines and stuff like that cotton but candy we're machines. working on that yeah <laughs> they're putting in the budget for next do you have sleep do you have nap pods you ever what? seen those? The nap pods? What even is like, that? You lay down in it and you close the top and you just take a nap at work. I don't, I don't know what that I've is. I've seen those. I've never even yeah. heard I saw of them those. in a movie. I think you're making stuff up. No. It's okay. No, we still I think you're them, cool. The, the, they're called nap pods. It's okay, Chris. No, this does exist. <laughs> it really does. But you don't have those? We're not fancy like that. No? We've okay. got a... Some, some chairs and a couple tables. And, That's all you need. And a fridge with snacks. Now, do you write on paper or do you like... Um, I usually write on my phone. I used to write on paper a lot. I kind of, I like writing on paper, but I like yeah. the delete key a lot. So delete. <laughs> now, what comes first, is the lyrics or the or the melody? Uh, I think the idea. So I guess that's sort of lyrical. But mm-hmm. um, I mean, I'll write kind of them both at the same time. Mm-hmm. 
yeah. Now, if you had if you had a choice, uh, okay, so I can I can write for the rest of my life and make a living out of it for other artists, or I can perform for the rest of my life and make a living out of it for myself. Which would you what choose? What would you choose? My passion is performing. Um, I love okay. singing. I love performing. I love uh, you know getting up on stage and giving yeah. it what I got. So, and I also when I write um, specifically songs that are personal to me, there are stories that I want to tell. You know, yeah, as a performer. Yeah. So uh, I love performing, but I mean, I writing is equally something well, that I'm passionate about. What's that like when you when you play a song a few times and uh, that, that's from your heart that tells a little bit about you, and then you see people in the audience that have maybe heard you a couple times, they're singing along with it. What's what does that feel like? I mean, it's it's indescribable. It's a great feeling. Um, so far, just at the point that I am at. And you know, sing along to the chorus, yeah. you know, by the second or third mm -hmm. time. Right. Um, so I, it's kind of getting it like that. But uh, I've had, you know, songs that are. Like, how long have you been in Nashville now? I'm going on six years. Okay, so being here six years in Nashville, I know it's a lot different than it was your first year, mm -hmm. uh, for sure. Do you feel more at home? Do you feel like you're like part of the city now, or do you still feel like you're still trying to like claw away at it and try to make trying to make it? Uh, I mean, it's been very welcoming of me. I feel like I have a an awesome group of friends who mm -hmm. are all musicians and writers and performers, um, and they're always inspiring me to push myself and be mm -hmm. better. And uh, How important is that network of friends? Because you, you come to a place like Nashville, it's pretty intimidating. Mm -hmm. So you've got to have friends or, or that are probably more like family to you, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so how important is that? Would you be able to stay here and stick it out on your own, or do you need that, that network? Oh, I mean, it's it makes everything so much easier. Um, I feel like as far as my passion goes, friendships and relationships that you develop with people mm -hmm. um i mean we'll be working on a song in one room and someone will come in from another room and be like oh hey you should put this in it and yeah uh, i mean it's it's fun to collaborate and learn from each other uh it's like we are we're all going towards the same thing and mm -hmm. i thought you were going to say we are one we, we are one <laughs> <laughs> so okay so six years you've been here six years mm -hmm. so six more years what are you going to be doing Six more years, you will have front row seats to my stadium. I was getting Ow! stage passes too, right? It just keeps getting recorded on audio, so you <laughs> I know, know if she it, doesn't like, deliver. People several now times, a record. <laughs> several times. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what do you think about CMA Fest? When, when you know you're you're a, a local and you know you're hanging out, and then all these people are here all of a sudden. I mean, how does it feel for you? Are you like, are you like, ah, oh, get me out of <laughs> Nashville? Or are you okay with it? I, I love it. I think it's so much fun. Um, it's all these country music fans from all over who are just coming to enjoy what we do every day, you know. Mm -hmm. um, the only complaints I have is the parking down here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, you know, I think it's worth it. The atmosphere is great. Everybody's really excited to be here. And mm -hmm. um, it's nice just calling it home. Sure, you know? sure. You feel kind of important. I mean, like being a musician in Nashville, yeah. you know, having a real musician job and all that. And you feel kind of like cool. You should. Because I think you're cool. I, I'm it makes me cool by association. trying to be cooler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I mean, being here, working on, on being awesome. Being here on the show with you. Oh, makes well, thank me you. That much cooler. We owe her money now. We've got to <laughs> now, wait a minute. We've got to pay her for that. I'll let you pay her this time. All right. So we're going to do one more song. Uh, what's this one going to be about? Uh, this one. I'm going to stress it's not based on personal experience, but uh, this is a song about a one hand called. Oh, so it is about boat. personal experience, it and you're definitely saying it's not. So it was a friend's <laughs> one night stand. Right. Right. In quotation marks. <laughs> <laughs> Their mom's probably listening to this. Yeah. yeah it has nothing to do with to. me. <laughs> Just totally no. made this up. I, I love story songs, and this is definitely one of those. So. Yeah. Well, it's one that people can relate to. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, 
Probably. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. I mean, I've known people, though. Maybe you can let me right. know afterwards. Right. Known people have done it, though. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a cool name for this song. Okay. All right. <laughs> I've been expecting, I heard from around town She left your heart out, and now you're broken You never say it, baby I don't think it's really any secret When you show up too late Or I should turn you away But I just open the door And you fall and feeling Like your head's are reeling Your world's crashing I'm all around And you're lost Missing her and you drown You a flu But you don't need a lover you just need a lifeboat You pull me in close Say you don't want to talk I don't expect you to Baby, you never do But I keep my heart closed Cause it don't mean a thing That we always get together And I know better when you Show up 2 a.m. on the front porch Looking like my favorite sin And I know you'll never own it But you don't want to be lonely Boy, you're not the only one Falling, feeling like your head's a reeling Your world's crashing all around And you're lost, missing her And you're drowning, it's hurting Trying to keep you afloat, but you don't need a lover. You just need a lifeboat. And you fall and I'm feeling like your head's a reeling. Yeah, you fall and I'm feeling like your head's a reeling. Cause you're falling, feeling like your head's a reeling Your world's crashing all around And you're lost, missing her And you're drowning, in the hurting Your feet are searching for solid ground Here I am, trying to keep you afloat But you don't need a lover You just need a I'm your favorite lifeboat Oh Ooh. Beautiful. Yes. I felt I felt so sorry for that person. <laughs> I, my heart's just like yeah. bleeding for this fictional person right now. <laughs> Did you come up with that hook yourself? Yeah, uh, that one I wrote by myself. Nice. That is That's so boss. good. I'm so proud of you. I mean, it's just like I feel like I feel like we're, we're family, and I've just seen her just grow. She's growing, well, you've yeah. Been growing too. Uh, yeah. Since I'm what do you mean you. exactly? I, I have put <laughs> on a few. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I mean, this whole program. Yeah, yeah, we're know. we're getting there. You know, we're getting there. Um, so if we make it there first, then we'll give you backstage passes. Yeah. yeah I mean, I don't know how that's going to work know. out. I don't know. We'll just get on a stage and start <laughs> doing a show. Hang out in the green room. Yeah, and get fed yeah. grapes and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm down with that. So, okay, I've asked you this before, but uh, sometimes things like this change, and, um, and I forgot what you said, too. So um, <laughs> if you had a chance to open for anybody, who would it be? Like CMA Fest this week, who would you want to open for? Oh, boy. Who's playing here this week? 
It doesn't matter. Uh, it could be somebody Anybody. dead. It could be an, an, somebody dead if you want to. It doesn't matter. It could be Elvis. <laughs> my all-time favorite is Shania Twain. Shania so, Twain. Yes. If I got yeah. anything to do with her, if I got to write a song with her, or open for her, yeah. I'd be, Shania I'd, Twain I could rules. Die happy. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, she's not even. Is she? She's not even performing anymore right now, is she? She finished her tour, I believe. Did she? She, she okay. had was like the last, last one, last wasn't it? Yeah. It and seems I, like last year I heard she wasn't going to go on tour, but then I guess she did. Yeah, and apparently, and I I can't speak for her, but she said that she's working on an album. Yes! Oh, okay. Yes, okay. I've been waiting my whole life for this. Oh Since gosh. that Up album, I have been waiting my whole freaking life so you're for pretty another excited. album. You're yes. a Shania Twain fan, too? I'm a major Shania Twain Okay, Twain. okay. I can go hang out when <laughs> she releases <laughs> So, I mean, that could happen. You might be writing a song for her one of these days. That would be incredible. Yeah, to have your name on one of her CDs mm-hmm. as one of the writers. That would be so cool. Yeah. That's so is, is that one of, the, one of the signs that you've made it? Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. <laughs> so, so what would be cooler for you? Like, say, say opening for Shania Twain or going to a, a, little, a little bar somewhere in the middle of the night and somebody plays one of your songs on the jukebox? Oh, boy. I mean, the second one's very personal experience you know yeah. that's something that's it's just crazy yeah um i i love making music and i feel like the main reason i make it is to connect with people so mm-hmm. i mm-hmm. probably the second one yeah would you just sit there and listen or would you go up to that person and talk to them oh no <laughs> no i would sit in my corner yeah you wouldn't be like hey that's my song that's me you wouldn't do that <laughs> it's crazy i'd like I would snapchat it I would. and then like <laughs> <laughs> really I'd be like that's me that's my song i'd scream I would. I'd I would. act like an idiot. I'd be like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so so there's lots of great things on the horizon for you. Uh, you've got uh, live performances coming up. You've got an EP that you're working on. And uh, it's MelanieMarini.com? Yes. Okay, so and it's M-E-R-I-N-E-Y. Yes. All right, so if they, if they go there, they can find links to your Twitter, uh, YouTube. Instagram. SoundCloud. All SoundCloud. So they can, they yeah. can stalk you all day long. All, I say they, want. but it's us that actually. I stalk. <laughs> yeah, all the we're time. the stalkers. Yeah, I do. Well, at least it's like she is. said. She texted us and said, "You know, I, I'm at BB, but I already knew she was here." Cause I was, <laughs> yeah, because yeah. you're stalking. Yeah, we was watching her the whole time. So <laughs> I know that's kind of creepy. I know, I know. But it's so good to see you. Are you going to stick yeah. around and do some pictures? Yeah, sure. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Get some pictures with your guitar and stuff. I'm down. Yeah. I can wear my penguin shirt. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Playoffs are tonight. Well, yeah. See, I, I, we were talking about that before the show started. There's too much going on in Nashville. There right is. Now. Yeah. Way too much. I can't keep up with anything. But I'm not really a sports guy, though. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Yeah. I, I, I mean, can't. I like baseball and horse racing, and that's it. She's all much. about horse racing. I, I love horse racing. That's cool. Yeah, it's like she waits all year for like 30 seconds. Two minutes. It's over? Two minutes. It's like a bad first night stand, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey. What? 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 Uh, well, thank you so much for taking the time to come out here and, and be on our, our little radio show and, and talk to us and hang out. Thank it's always so really special. But anytime, anytime you're, you're going to release new music, I would love to hear it first. Okay. It makes me feel special. <laughs> uh, so so I could, I, you know, I'd love to listen to it. So if you want to send it to us, and I could even critique it. I, I could, I'll be honest with you, too. Yeah, great. Um, for sure. Um, um, he's a pretty harsh man. <laughs> not really. I know. I'm really. just playing. I'm kind of biased with people like Melanie. I mean, there's a few that, that I think I'm, I'm kind of biased with, and I can't really help but like what they do. Mm-hmm. So maybe I wouldn't be the best person. Maybe not. Maybe you should stick with your mom on that one. <laughs> But I, I still want to hear it anyway. I, now, I will definitely send you some. Now, do you have merchandise? If I, if I want to wear a Melanie Marini t-shirt, is there uh, any? I've got um, some sunglasses <gasps> that are coming in tomorrow. Sweet. Okay. So we'll have, I'll drop a few by here. Oh, um, cool. Hopefully tomorrow before I leave town. And okay. Then, uh, now, if I want to order some of those, will they be available online maybe? or Not yet. No. Uh, okay. Those sunglasses are just CMA Fest, um, but I do have... CDs still of my okay. last EP available online and also hard copy. I'll also drop some by. Okay, cool. Well. Now do you, um, do you autograph CDs and stuff for people when they, when they order them? Yeah. If they, if they yeah. want it autographed, I'll. Okay. Would you be like, Chris, you're like the coolest guy in the universe. Would you write that on there? If I asked you to do <laughs> that or sweet, sweet. Okay. You have to ask. I know. I, Cause you're not that cool. <laughs> I have to pay people all the time. Uh, do you want to take us out this time? Heck yeah. I want to take right. us out. I'll let you do it. Thank you for listening to the Chris top program. Until we broadcast again, please remember this. Life is good, and we're gone. Was Elena cool when she first started? Oh, gosh. She's going to kill me if she hears this. You're not recording this, are you? Well, well, no. She wasn't really cool at all before she was on the Chris Top program the first time. But luckily, she was on the show, and 
Well, we took care of that. I mean, sort of. Why you gotta talk that trash? Shouldn't be throwing stones way up in your house of glass. What you gonna do when it all comes back? And I'll be broke because you talk that trash. Performing live from legendary B.B. King's downtown Nashville, Tennessee during the Chris Top Program's WABA Awards 2016. Fun starts at 6 p.m. on June 11th. This is a free event, courtesy of Magnolia Emporium. This has been a Chris Top production. <laughs> you can either talk in the Chris Top Did you ever think you could afford an interior designer? No, way too expensive. Besides, I've got style. If you had style, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Ouch. Interior designers are for rich people. Magnolia Emporium. Magnolia Aquarium? Is that like for some crazy flower fish? No, Magnolia Emporium. Randy's clients range from nurses and teachers to musicians, actors, and even some royalty thrown in there. Oh, I'd be on the royalty side. You really don't have any swag, do you? No. No, I don't. That's where Randy comes in. He listens to exactly what you want, whether it's spoken or unspoken. Okay, if you mean he can read my mind, there's lots of things I don't want Randy to know. No, he has a great feel for what he does. Okay, where can I find Magnolia Emporium? Just go to magnoliaemporium.com. We want your space to reflect your success. might be looking grim I guess it's time 